using quadrats that are quite practical by kscience.com. Quadrats can be used to compare the abundance of plants in a field. So you can compare the abundance of plants in a shaded area compared to a unshaded area. So to avoid any human bias, you need to generate random coordinates. And you can do this using a random coordinate generator online. So the random coordinates generated for the shaded area are as follows. And the random coordinates generated for the unshaded area are as follows. So you now place the quadrat at each of the randomly generated coordinates. So you place the coordinate at 0, 2. And then what you do is count the number of organisms inside that quadrat. In this case, there are zero plants in that quadrat. Then you place the quadrat at the next coordinate, which is 2, 3. And you count the number of organisms, which is one plant. Then 4, 6, where there are going to be zero plants. Then at 4, 9, where there are also zero plants. And finally at 1, 1, where there is one plant in that quadrat. You then repeat the process for the unshaded area. So in the first quadrat, there is two. In the second, there are also two plants. In the third quadrat, there is one plant. In the fourth quadrat, two plants. And in the final quadrat, there are also two plants. So what we've just done is we have counted the number of organisms in each quadrat. You then repeat this process for all of the coordinates. The more coordinates you do, the more reliable your results. We have just done five for each shaded or unshaded region. The more coordinates you do, the more reliable your results. Now we calculate the mean using our results. Total number of organisms divided by the number of quadrats. Pause the video here to calculate the mean number of organisms per quadrat for the shaded and unshaded region. The answers will follow. So in the shaded region, we counted two organisms. So that was two plants. And we divide that by the total number of quadrats, which was five quadrats. So it will be two divided by five, which gives us 0 0.4 plants per quadrat. In the unshaded region, we counted a total of nine organisms and there were five quadrats. So you do nine organisms, in this case plants, divided by five quadrats. That gives you an answer of 1.8 plants per quadrat. So the shaded region has a mean of 0 0.4 plants per quadrat compared to the unshaded region, which has a mean of 1.8 plants per quadrat. This is because there is more sunlight in the unshaded region, which means more photosynthesis can take place, which means that more plants will grow. We can now estimate the population size for the number of plants in both the shaded and unshaded area. We can do that by using the equation population size equals number of organisms in all the quadrats times by the total area divided by the total area of quadrats. This equation is effectively multiplying the mean by the total area. For the shaded region, we're now going to estimate the population size. So firstly, you must count the total number of organisms in all of your quadrats. In this case, it is only two. Then calculate the total area of which there is shaded grass. So that's going to be 10 meters up times by five meters across. That is an area of 50 square meters approximately. Now each of the quadrats are one square meter. They are one meter by one meter. So if we've got five quadrats, the total area of the quadrats, the total area of the quadrats is five square meters. So now you do two organisms in all the quadrats times by the 50 meters squared of the total area divided by the total area of the quadrat, which is five, and that will give you 20 flowers as an estimated population size of 20 flowers. And to calculate your mean, you can also just multiply your mean per quadrat times by the total area. 
So it'll be 0 0.4 times 50. That will also give you an estimated population size of 20 flowers. In the unshaded region where there is more sunlight, we counted a total number of organisms in all the quadrats of nine plants. We then have to calculate the total area. In this case, it's going to be 10 meters times nine meters. That gives you a total area of 90 meters squared. The total area of quadrats was five, so we still have the total area of quadrats as five meters squared. Now use the equation, which is estimated population size will equal nine, total number of organisms in all the quadrats, times by 90 meters squared, which is the total area, divided by five meters squared, which is the total area of the quadrat. That'll give you an estimated population size of 162 plants. It is only an estimated population size. The more reliable results will come from using more quadrat coordinates, so you get a more accurate mean. Pause the video here to use this data to calculate the mean flowers per quadrat and also to calculate the estimated population size. Method and answers will follow. To calculate the mean flowers per quadrat, the equation is the total number of organisms in all your quadrats divided by the number of quadrats you used. The total number of organisms in all of your quadrats is going to be 13. And you divide that by number of quadrats, which is six quadrats. That gives you an answer of 2.2 flowers per quadrat. Then use the equation, total organisms in the quadrats times by total area divided by total area of the quadrats. So the quadrats are one by one meter. So the answer to this is 13, which is the total number, times by 10 times 10 meters, which is the total area of the field, which is 100 meters squared, divided by the total area of the quadrats, which is six meters squared. That'll give you an answer of 217 flowers is the estimated population size of this field. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.